All right, guys, uh, here, is, here are the two balanced equations for number 40 and 41 on the worksheet. So you can pause the video and write those down, and then you should be able to solve those two problems. I'd like for you to try that. On the test, all the balanced equations will be given to you. So I wanted to provide those for you now. We worked those out in class just as a way to review a few things. So there are the balanced equations for 40 and 41. They work exactly the same way as we were working before. We're just using the molar volume relationship, okay? So solve those two. And if you have trouble with that, let me know, and we can talk through that, okay? So the next thing I have on the board is you're going to go to page 11 in your packet, okay? So we're going to, this is the volume to mass problems, okay? So uh, the first example problem says ammonia is synthesized from hydrogen and nitrogen. And so you see I've already written that balanced equation for us up here. Nitrogen, this is the Haber process, so this is these are all gases. Uh, I didn't write those in, but uh, I'm telling you that it is, so we can use all these gas functions here. So it, uh, let's read what it says for us here. If five liters of nitrogen reacts completely with hydrogen at a pressure of three atmosphere and a temperature of 298 Kelvin, how much ammonia in grams is produced? So that's new, right? Where we're being given um, pressure and temperature about something and then... Uh, asking for grams of something else. So let's see what we actually have. We have been told that we have five liters of nitrogen. And the question then is uh, how many grams then are we going to be able to produce of the um, ammonia? So there are a couple of different things we can do here, okay? We can um, we can think about moles. We could think about liters. So let's follow the instructions that we have right here, just as one way to do this. So it says, let's find the volume ratio of nitrogen to ammonia. So in order to do that, we'll take the five liters of nitrogen and let's write the balanced equation relationship, which says that we have one liter of nitrogen for every two liters of ammonia that's produced. So that means that we will actually make 10 liters of ammonia. 10 liters of ammonia. Now, since this is, has given me a, uh, a pressure, so if we look here in our question, it says we've got a pressure of 3 and a temperature of 298 Kelvin. So we can actually now use the ideal gas law. We can use PV equals NRT to solve this problem, okay? Because we have uh, a number of liters of our gas here, all right? So let's plug all this in that we have. We have three atmosphere of pressure. The volume is 10, right? We don't know the number of moles, so that's what we're gonna be solving for here because uh, then we'll be able to relate that somehow to the rest of the balanced equation, right? So, and then what R are we going to use? Well, since the pressure on the paper here was in atmosphere, then we're going to use 0 0.0821 as our um, R. And then we were given the temperature of 298 Kelvin. All right. 298 Kelvin. All right, so now to solve for n, these numbers are connected to the unknown, so we're going to divide that by it. So n equals, I'm just going to write an answer here, n equals 1.2 moles. 
and I see that I have not left myself hardly enough room to work, so I'm going to go to here to the side. So now that one point, and that is moles of NH3, right? Because that's what we found the volume of. That was the number of moles of that of uh, the ammonia. So now since it asks us for grams, I'm going to go right here, 1.2 moles of NH3. Let's make sure you can still see that. And then we're going to convert that to a molar mass, right? So one mole has a mass of 17 grams. All right, so 1.2 times 17. And so our answer, our final answer there is going to be 20.4 grams of NH3. Oh, I wrote it backwards, sorry. Of NH3. Does that make sense? So we're looking for, uh, so first we did our molar volume conversion to get to moles of NH, to liters of NH3. And then we put the liters of NH3 into the ideal gas law, so we could solve for moles, and then we just did what we always knew to do, which is to take the moles and use the molar mass to find uh, the mass that we can uh, that we have of the ammonia. Let's look at the next question. I'm going to put the camera down just a little bit so we have a little more space here to work. So this is question number 42. It says ammonium nitrate is a common ingredient in fertilizers. Calculate the mass of ammonium nitrate that must be used to obtain uh, 0 0.1 liters of dinitrogen oxide uh, gas at STP. All right, so let's take a look at what we have. This is asking us for the mass of this solid. So there's no way that we can put that information into the gas law. We are going to have to put the information about the gas, this gas, into the gas law and then be able to find moles and then use that, okay? So here is our oxygen, I mean, I'm sorry, the dinitrogen oxide. So one, one liter. So we have the liters. So because we have liters of this, we are going to be able to find moles of that. Now, this happens to be, this is happening at what? At, sorry, this is going to be backwards for you, isn't it? That's at, sorry, this is at uh, STP, uh, right? So, uh, so if the conditions are at STP, then we can simply take this amount of liters, point, uh, sorry, 0 0.100 liters, and we can say, well, how many moles is that? Well, one mole at STP occupies 22.4 liters. So that's going to be, uh, let's grab a calculator. So 0 0.1 divided by 22.4 equals... 0 0.00446 mole. Uh, now, fun fact, uh, you could have used the ideal gas law here as well. Uh, you would have just put in, since it was STP, you would have put in 1 for the, atmosphere, for the pressure, 273 for the temperature, and you could have solved it with PV inert and found the number of moles. But now that we have the number of moles of N2O, now we can just do straight stoichiometry, right? So we're going to go over here. So we'll do 0 0.0044, uh, what was it, 446? Six moles of N2O. And then we're going to say, well, what is the balanced equation relationship between these amounts, and it happens to be one to one. So it's one mole to one mole. So this is N2O, and this is ammonium. This is, so this is the NH4. 
4 in 03. Oops. Sorry, my, my, my camera died on me. Uh, page 4 in 03. And then we are going to uh, keep going here. Uh, so moles is going to cancel, right? And then we will find, we'll say that one mole of this has what mass? All right, so we need the molar mass of the ammonium nitrate. So ammonium nitrate, let's see if we can find a space to do that. So it's right here. So the molar mass Um, does that look right? Yeah, molar mass The molar mass is going to be two nitrogens, which will be uh, 28 plus three oxygens, which is 48 and uh, four hydrogens is that correct? So what do we have there for our total molar mass? That is 80 grams, All right? So put 80 grams for our uh, molar mass there. Now, uh, and that's mass of the NH4, NO3. Sorry, I'm running out of room. Uh, NO3. All right, so now we're going to pick up our calculators and say 0.00446 times 1 divided by 1 times 80 divided by 1 to get us our number of grams of the ammonium nitrate. And when we do that, I think, if I've done my calculation correctly, you can check it there for yourself, 0.3. Five seven grams of N H four N O three. All right. Uh, so that gives you two examples then of the way that we can use uh, stoichiometry uh, related to the gas laws. So uh, I will uh, post, yeah, I think we put it up there in class. I'm not really sure how far we got in your class. Um, so if we did 43, but that'll get you started. And if you can write a balanced equation, I may post those other balanced equations for you so you can see those and give those a whirl. Okay, great. See you guys.